This police video gives an idea of what greeted paramedics and police in a cramped flat on Christmas Day 2010. Blood on the walls, on the floor, smeared on curtains, even on the ceiling. And on the sofa, a hammer and knives that hint at the days of torture that ended with 15-year-old Christy Bamu dead in the bath. Exhausted, unable to escape, he had drowned. Christy had more than a hundred injuries to his body. Today, his sister Magali Bamu was found guilty of his murder, along with her boyfriend, Eric Bakubi. Christy and four siblings arrived from Paris for the holiday, but soon Bakubi accused some of them of witchcraft being possessed by evil spirits, claiming they'd cast spells on another child. Helped by Magali and using tools he had for doing up the flat, he tried to drive the spirits out of them through beatings. Christy bore the brunt. Here at the family home in Paris, the children's parents received numerous phone calls. His father says he has many regrets. Christy even told him, if you don't collect me, Uncle Eric is going to kill me. I couldn't hear any distress in his voice. He was calm. He wasn't crying. Well, I said to myself, Eric is a good person. He won't cross the line. They planned to travel to England on Boxing Day, but why didn't they call the police? It wasn't me who had a problem with someone. It was Eric who had a problem with Christy. He accused Christy of witchcraft. I say it's Eric who should have called the police. So how can a belief in witchcraft, or Kindoki as it's known in the Congo, from where the family originally came, lead to the death of Christy Bamu, a world away, here, high on the eighth floor of this East London tower block. In the African countries where Kindoki is a widely held belief, churches even hold exorcisms that involve praying and fasting to rid a child of evil spirits. But the court was told what happened in this case was utterly feral. And this is not the first brutal case in the UK linked to such beliefs. Twelve years ago, Victoria Klimbier's murderers claimed they were ridding her of evil spirits. Christie's father says they feel betrayed by people they trusted. The fact that one was his own daughter, Christie's sister, makes the pain that much worse. Alison Holt, BBC News.